You won't believe the DIY we are doing today. We're going to take this bug-ridden file cabinet and do a solar water fountain planner makeover. Yeah, that was a lot, but it's going to be awesome. Stick with me as we create a trending piece out of this old file cabinet. I'm Autumn with the Flipper's Guide, and we do totally doable DIYs here. I want you to have a home that you love, so stick with me, and I will teach you one flip at a time. My sweet friend gave me this file cabinet for free and I just didn't have a use for it or space for it in my home. But I wanted to use it for something special. Unfortunately, it had been left outside since my move and had some very unwelcome renters. Oh it's not moving. Oh my gosh, what if it doesn't die? I don't have a whole lot of fears but a spider like this is one of them. And this had the red violin shape on the back. Pretty sure it was a black widow. So it had to go and so did all of our other friends that were enjoying the space. I wanted to do this project with my daughter. She's gonna be going to college. And so she had said she wanted to make a planter. Of course, she didn't help much with the uh, bug cleaning. We don't do bugs. Oh, you weren't here for the bad part. You were not! I was here. The other? Uh-uh! <laughs> I will tell you that this project was a journey. As with all projects, there were ups and downs, but it will be worth it to stick with me because of the final product is amazing. So after we cleaned the piece, removed what was left of the old wheels, I decided I wanted to cover up the space and completely fill it in. Goodbye bugs, hello full, beautiful, rectangular shaped planter. We measured a quarter inch piece of plywood, cut it to size with the table saw, and then we were ready to go attaching it with the nail gun. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, I would love for you to do that. We have so much fun here at the Flipper's Guide learning about totally doable DIYs. I can't wait for you to see what's coming next. We got the board attached and now it was time to remove those drawers. The drawers are beautiful and they are made of wood, but I will tell you that this file cabinet is actually made of a pressed wood. So if you're one of those wood lovers, just know we are not ruining a vintage or old piece of furniture. Remember when I said there would be ups and downs to this project? Here's one of them. I'm telling them that we have to take a break from this piece because of the rain. Look outside. I know. It's been all night, now all day, and it's gonna be tonight and tomorrow day. All the water. The rains came down and there was historic flooding. Do you see the gators? Yeah, they were everywhere locally. But it finally slowed down and we were able to get back to our project. We were so thankful for the sun being out. Our first step was to get rid of this center piece of wood. My daughter really enjoyed the demo, but I had to teach her kind of how to put some oomph into it. We then removed the drawer slides and saved those for a rainy day because it is hard to find good drawer slides and dressers, other pieces of furniture always need them, so I will be keeping those. Also made sure to remove any extra nails or screws that were sticking out from that centerpiece. Made sure it was smooth and safe. Up next was prep for paint. We are going to sand this piece down, not to where it takes off the finish, but really just to where it has enough scuff sanding to be smooth and to also be ready to hold paint well. Well, the rain started coming back, so we decided to move inside. And I'll tell you what, my daughter is not a fan of painting, so she ditched me on this section. That's okay. I was so excited because I get to use one of my very favorite paints, Beyond Paint. We're gonna start with a bright white paint. This paint has some amazing coverage you will see with just one coat. Look at that coverage right there. And this is gonna be outdoors, so I wanted to pick a paint that I knew would be durable and hold up to the crazy weather that we have around here. 
I love that this paint is so user friendly. It is great for any beginner or somebody who's been painting for years and years. I love that it self levels and that you can just paint and go. Not too much stress. You do not have to do priming or sealing, although I will be sealing today because it's going outside and I want that extra seal to keep it safe. I will tell you that I am the opposite of a green thumb. I cannot keep anything alive. If you can see that fiddle leaf fig in the background, um, I'm just lucky that it's lived for the month and a half that I've had it. Since this piece will be outside, I went ahead and used some caulking to seal it up. It's a paintable caulking and this will just continue to help protect it from the outdoor weather. On this piece, I wanted to try something that I've never done before. Number one, I'm gonna try a new color, but first I wanna try a pattern. I'm gonna use my painter's tape and create a lattice pattern. I first took a pre-cut piece of paper that is an exact square in order to create the diamond shapes. I traced around this diamond after I measured finding the exact center. I then connected each diamond and used my pencil to create the pattern. I double checked it with a measuring stick to make sure it was straight and then cut my tape. The cutting of the tape makes sure that the edges are very straight and I put each piece of tape on the inside of the lines, making sure that each area is gonna be exact. Now I will tell you that I would recommend doing this differently and I actually did it much differently on the other side. This side I cut individual pieces and put them on the piece but as you can tell I started making longer strips. These longer strips are much easier and it worked out much smarter. After I got all my pieces on, made sure they were straight, and made sure they were down flat, I went through and erased any of the pencil marks that were just a little bit off. Okay, look at that. I am so excited. So the next tip I have is to use a sealant whenever you're going to be painting over the top of a painter's tape. This will just help the paint not to seep under the tape and hopefully make those really, really beautiful crisp lines. All right, this is the paint I'm using. I very rarely ever use a red colored paint, but look how beautiful this is. It is springtime. We'll be going into summertime soon and I just wanted something bright and colorful. All right, here we go. This is the part I was a little bit nervous about, but look at that. I got started and we're just gonna keep going. Let's talk about a mistake I made right here on the side I forgot to take the tape off or to cut those edges off before I started painting I don't know what I was thinking I think I was delirious but if I were you if I were you go ahead and take that tape off or stop at the edges I will show you how I fixed it and it was just fine but it did make it take just a little bit longer at this point I was questioning my life does it look like a murder scene on my piece, or is that color going to work out? I decided just to keep pushing through and go ahead and fix my error. I just took my box cutting knife and pulled that tape off. Here 
here you can see why it was a bad choice. Some areas had more paint and some had less, but it's okay. And look, with a second coat, that color is looking so much better. All right, here's a tip. If you have to take a break, wrap up your roller, cover your piece with that cling wrap. I love this kind. Press and seal is definitely a favorite. Okay, now we're gonna talk about the bottom. Although I am not a green thumb, I know that any planter has to have holes in the bottom or else the water will stay in that box. And I wanna make sure that the water drains out. So we're going to help it out. The first drill bit was not heavy duty enough, so I grabbed a bigger one and that one made the difference. Okay, it's time to see if it worked. I was so nervous, but look at this. I am so excited about this lattice look. It's something like I've never done before, but don't leave me now. We've got so much left coming. I went ahead and erased any pencil marks that were underneath the tape and then followed it up by taking the tape off the other side. With those long pieces, it made it even easier once I figured out the smart way to do it. Up next, I wanted to make sure that this box sat off the ground. If it was just sitting on the ground, the water wasn't going to come out. So I looked at using some wheels that I already had. The small ones would not work. So I found some roller skate wheels. You know what? Why not use what we've already got? This doesn't have to move much and it doesn't have to be anything fancy. So let's get this off the ground and make it mobile. I was so excited. Up next, I'm going to go ahead and protect the interior of this piece from the water that will be going in it. I just took an old trash bag and cut off the end so that it could have an opening for all the water to go out, then attached it around the edges. Now this piece is so large that I don't want to fill it all with dirt. So I came up with an idea to make a table-like structure. First, we're gonna take this old baking sheet and cut holes in it. So this baking sheet is gonna be the top to the table and underneath, we're just gonna use some wooden uh, pieces that I had from an old fence that we were building and put them down as makeshift table legs. They actually fit really perfectly in there and then that baking sheet just fit right on top. It's time to put it all together. We headed to Lowe's, grabbed some dirt. My husband was really proud of his strength. Work out, you're about to go to your graduation. You know, you want to yeah, get like... those muscles ready for graduating. Yeah, I have that diploma. <laughs> we were so excited while we were at Lowe's to find Beyond Paint. The paint we we're using and that I love is now available at Lowe's and you can grab it anytime you need it. Okay, let's take this piece outside. I had an idea of where I wanted it to go. I wanted it in this corner, just to add to my new backyard makeover. And, well, I had a little friend that I found first. Didn't want to squash him. So I put him in the tree, found other friends, and decided that one was poisonous. Mm -mm. Okay, I'm done with the tree. My son helped me put it outside. And then my daughter decided to show back up and help. The painting was done, so she was excited to get back on the project. 
We first started by filling the area up about halfway and finding where our water bucket will go. This is an old pot that I filled with water and I have a really exciting plan for it. Look at these flowers I found at Lowe's. They were two for 20. That is a great deal. Of course, I got dirt in the water. That's okay, we'll figure it out in a minute. We planted and got them all in surrounding the water and decided to put in a solar sprinkler. The only problem is there was not enough sun to make the sprinkler go in this space. How disappointing is that? Okay, let's come up with an idea. We moved it out into the yard where it would get more sun and let's see if that works. It's in a different space, but I think it's gonna look good. Okay, let's remember our before, our creepy bug-ridden file cabinet that tried to murder me. And here is the after. How cool is this? I am so excited. I love this bright color. I wasn't sure at first what I would think about a bright, beautiful red color, but it looks gorgeous in my backyard. It is a pop of fun, and it will be so nice to have that fountain sound in my backyard during the summer. I placed it right next to my hammock so I can sit and maybe read a book or just enjoy my backyard this summer with a fun, gorgeous background of my planter and fountain. What do you think? Do you like the color? Do you like the pattern? Would you have done something else? Let me know. What I love is that we took an old cabinet that was not being used and turned it into something really cool and different. As always, thank you so much for being here with the Flipper's Guide. Be sure and check the description if you have any question about the products used. And as always, remember, if I can do this, you can do this. You've got this.